Hey folks, welcome to Kayak DIY. Here, myself and my father head off to iCast where we're going to be filming the latest products in paddle sports and fishing. Check it out. Hey folks, Kayak DIY here and I wanted to show you this really unique product here called Bayak. This here is a paddle sports uh, product. It is a paddle craft. It's kind of, it fits in its own category. It's kind of creating a new one. And I'm here with Aaron and he's gonna talk a little bit about it. But I had this thing out on the water yesterday and it was pretty awesome. And that's why I wanted to come to the showroom here and get you guys a little bit more of a uh, clear walkthrough of the craft. So what can you tell me about it, Aaron? Okay, um, so with the design of the Biac, we were trying to solve the problem of uh, having a kayak that you could paddle with a kayak paddle, narrow enough to do that, but then really stable for stand-up fishing. So the solution to that was to make a catamaran that had an adjustable width. So you have a boat that can be, uh, if I can lean down here, you can close the pontoons together and make it 30 inches wide, paddle it with a kayak paddle, and then when you get out to where you want to fish, you can open up the pontoons and you have a 48 inch fishing platform. And I think you'll see in the video, it's pretty stable. Oh yeah. Um, then after that, which is sort of the main unique feature, we just wanted to make it uh, as friendly towards accessories as it could possibly be. So we've got uh, up at the front, we've got a square tube receiver that can take all kinds of different, um, yeah, all kinds of different accessories from a leaning post, um, a foot rest. On the back, we have the same sort of a receiver. You can put a transom for a uh, trolling motor, uh, milk crate, the traditional kayak fisherman's milk crate, or in this case, sort of a mix, <laughs> mix of things. Um, you can use it with a, a frame kayak seat, or you could put a cooler there and sit up on a cooler. Um, got lots of different flush mounts that you can use any kind of attachments you want. We kind of rigged this one out with everything. It's got a depth finder, camera mount, rod holders. And your transducer kinda, wire goes. Yeah, it can run through the pontoon and up to the, if you want to rig it that way. You can put the transducer on the front if you wanted to. Um, got a little dry storage right here for small things, but the pontoons are completely open. So you can actually put some rods in, inside the pontoon if they're the right ones. And um, yeah, a lot of storage. It would be great for uh, camping trips too, I think, uh, you know, being able to have all that storage space. Yeah, for sure. I'm even trying to think of a way to um, extend the decks and have a one person tent on the biac, but that's, oh, oh. yeah, that's down the road. That would be awesome in the future. Yeah, for sure. We've got a, um, it's also modular, so I can pull the pontoons apart and put one at a time on a car top if you wanted to car top it. So no, none of the parts weigh more than 40 pounds, so it's easy to handle if you want to break it down. If you don't want to break it down and you need to move it, we've got a wheel accessory um, that you'll see right here. And you can just pick it up like a wheelbarrow and roll it around. I want to walk over to the um, trolling motor. Yep. Yeah, so it, I don't think there are many kayaks that you can uh, buy an off-the-shelf trolling motor and just put it on your kayak. But with the Biac, we have a, a transom accessory, and it just drops into the square tube, and then you can use any off-the-shelf uh, transom mount trolling motor. You can put the uh, battery inside the pontoon so it's out of the way. It's nice to sit on a cooler. A really comfortable ride, really gets along well. You experienced it, uh, yeah, moves along good. Yeah, so yesterday when I had this thing out on the water, I had a very similar setup to what you see right here, and that was a blast. So I actually got so confident that even with some of my other gear on, which wasn't waterproof, um, I was confident enough, I actually was standing on the cooler and just kind of getting a feel of how you could possibly sight fish. Um, so lots of versatility here, very stable, leads to a lot of confidence. I was really relaxed on it. I had my legs swinging out over the edge here and just kind of holding on to the little tiller and buzzing around. Uh, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And I was interested in this before I found out that it could telescope out. 
And once I found out it could telescope out, that really shocked me. That was a, a really unique feature that I haven't seen anywhere else. So that's kind of a look here at Bayak, and uh, I'll have a link in the video description below for them. And let's take a look at some more of the on the water footage and see what this thing has to offer.